the last thing you want to do is force yourself to do this work. Okay, you want to get ready to do it in little bits through time. Two hours a week is really good to start. Okay, I, but I that think that is a, a real important uh, fact because I feel once I commit myself to a project, I feel like I have to do the whole thing. That's the problem. That's going to put you straight into overwhelm. Okay? Yes. So you need to approach it like little bites. You want it like you don't eat the whole sub at the same time, yeah. even if you're really hungry. One bite. You don't need to know, and you don't need to know everything to start, but you need to start to find the answers. Mm. I, um, before I came here, I started thinking this is a lot like weeding in the summertime in my garden. Like if I just mm -hmm. do uh -huh. enough yeah. every week, and I just pay attention to the, the ones that get a lot more. I'm very, I mean, my gardens are the most satisfying part of it. That's right. And it could be so pleasurable because you don't want to attack your clutter. You want to putter through your clutter. You don't want to go down memory lane and I hated my mother, but she made me wear this and then la 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 la. It's just like, you look at the dress. Do I love this dress now? And if it makes you think of your mother and you don't like your mother, it's clutter. Mm -hmm. It's just clutter. You don't even want to have it around. If it makes you sad, it's clutter. Um, but that's a very good point. You want to um, visit and attend to your stuff. It's a softer. I want softer. You want to not be, you don't want to attack your clutter. You just want to putter through your clutter. So two hours a week is a good place to start, but two hours at once might be too much. A half an hour might be good. Can I ask a question? Please. Do. What if you have to force yourself to do those two hours? You're not ready to do it then. You don't force yourself. Do 15 minutes. But you see, she talked earlier about, like, if I force myself, I'm creating resistance. Right. And then you're, then I'm going to have to really crawl over that resistance. That's right. And so maybe I'll just do 20 minutes right. and be, feel really okay. good about that. Okay, so, yeah, let's, can we use your situation as an example? Oh, sure. Okay, so when, um, when you feel like you're forcing yourself to do it, then the first step is not doing it. The first step is figuring out how you can do it in a way that feels relatively good. Like, I don't always want to put my clothes away every week. And I finally surrendered. I'm the person that is not going to put her clothes away every night after work. I'm just not going to do it. I didn't do it when I was told to do it by my mother, and I'm still not doing it. And because I'm a grown-up, I don't have my I don't have to pick up my clothes, but eventually I have to pick up my clothes. So I had to figure out a way to do it in a way that was no big deal, okay? It didn't pile up on me. There's some relationship I have with clothes that I just don't like to hang them up. I just, on to the next thing when I get home. And uh, instead of making me wrong, I had, to, I had to accept the way I am and work with it. And I said, okay. So Saturday and Sunday mornings, I do it in the morning because if you wait in the evening, it drags on me all day long. I have to do this. See, I'm not that different from you. I just don't get upset. I don't want to upset myself. I don't do this upset. And so I figure, oh, I guess I wonder. Instead of I don't know what to do, I go, I wonder how I'm going to figure this out. And so I figured Saturday or Sunday morning, I put my clothes away after a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> after I have read... Uh, you know, usually I, I like to linger in bed for an hour or so. I get up early in order to do that. Or after I meditate, I have a quiet time. I don't have to abandon that in order to do my clothes. I figure out how to do it in a way that sort of fits the day together. And then I get up and I do the clothes and they're done and I notice it's not such a big deal after all. And I do it every week so it doesn't pile up on me. And um, so the repetition and the frequency is very important to this. When you start doing this, do not underestimate the force of a habit. I just want to get this done, get it out of the way, and go on to the next thing. Okay? Especially New Englanders were taught to speed up, get it done, and go on to the next thing. That does not give you enough time to think it through. The physical work is one thing. People say, I want to make time to do that. You also have to make time to think. So slow down to think it through. Just like when you're going down 128, if you're going too fast, you'll miss the right turn or get into a crash. 
You want to slow down to think it through. So slow, think, pay attention to your feelings, and be present and figure it out. And that's what we're doing today, is figuring it out. If you don't know what to do, that's totally fine. No one knows what to do until they figure it out. Just go figure, um, I don't know what to do. Add the little word yet, I don't know yet, and stay engaged in the decision making. The work is in the decisions, not in the doing. How to, and then you can get through the fight and flight. There's another one, these are being redone. What's the third F in this? Freeze. Freeze. Flight, fright, freeze. If you're in overwhelm, you'll go into freeze really fast. And in all fairness, overwhelm is, um, and procrastination is a form of trying to protect you. So do not resent it. It's, it's, in, its intentions are good. You just can't stay there. This is absolutely fascinating work. If you actually stay close to your stuff and take care of your clutter, it's amazing what opens up in your life. Your heart opens up, your space opens up, your relationships open up, your dreams open up. And I, you know, I, there's people that do the spiritual work in this. I'm very much emotional, behavioral. Um, but I want you to appreciate that it's not about the stuff, it's all about you. Remember, you don't need to know all the answers to start, but you need to start to find the answers. And your answers are different than this person's or mine. Just like this is somebody's clutter, but it's not in my house, this is a treasure. So carve out two hours in the following week. And if you want, build a routine on Tuesday mornings. I'm making this up. <laughs> or Sunday mornings to do some work. If two hours is too much, do an hour and um, pick a project that's bite size. And let's see the, one more thing, because our expectations get us into trouble. One hour. The truth of the matter, it takes about 10 minutes to get into the job. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? Get the trash bags, da 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 da, prep. It takes, 10 minutes to get out, clean up, straighten up. So when you're doing one hour, 60 minus 20, 40 minutes. Okay, this might take 15 minutes or 15 minutes. And when you declutter, get the stuff all the way into your car <laughs> and take it wherever you think is a good idea to go, okay? and try and complete the whole cycle. And if you can't, just get it close to the door. <laughs>